There are a plethora of upcoming video game releases that people are extremely excited for because it seems that the developers were not really afraid of cancellation or of trying to make their product appeal to certain groups of sensitive snowflakes on social media. And another game is actually being added to that list named Vindictus Defying Fate, and it has gone pretty viral over the past few days. And of course, like clockwork, there are Puritans who are melting down over the title. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Now, there has been a tweet that has gone pretty viral over the past few days highlighting this game. Now, if you don't know what Vindictus Defying Fate is, it is an upcoming action RPG MMO. It's currently in the pre-alpha stage, and while we don't have a set-in-stone release date, it has been in development for quite a while, and it seems like it is going to hopefully be a very good game with lots of stunning assets, but this is a tweet that was put up. It's got 5 million views at the time of recording this video by Sile. It says, Vindictus Defying Fate joins Stellar Blade and the First Descendant as upcoming games that resist ESG and allow women to be feminine instead of having a dog's face and a man's body. I missed when femme fatales weren't being downgraded by sweet babies. Now, I have talked on this channel for years about Korean MMOs specifically and Korean entertainment because I am a big fan of Black Desert Online, even though it's got a lot of pay to win. It is still a really good game that has a fantastic style and it in my opinion has the best character customization system I have experienced in a video game and all of the female characters have very good customizable assets. I've always said that that should be the standard for video games because while yes not every single character has to be a bombshell you should have the option in a title like this to make your character look like a bombshell if that's what you want and I think that you know we see games like The First Descendant and Stellar Blade gaining so much hype on social media because it seems as though these developers are not afraid to push the boundaries. They are not afraid of being canceled or a few sensitive snowflakes on social media getting mad at their game. And while, you know, Stellar Blade and the First Descendant have not released and we have a lot of hope for them, they still technically could be bad even though they look like they are going to be fantastic gameplay-wise, story-wise, visually. I mean, there is, of course, that very small sliver that we could be disappointed. I don't think so. And I do think that Vindictus, when it finally releases, is going to be a game that is going to see a massive amount of attention for similar reasons to The First Descendant and Stellar Blade. He also posted, only sensitivity I need in games are for camera and input. Do you have to ask if Sweet Baby Inc. was associated with The First Descendant below? Obviously not. Uh, yeah, I mean, Sweet Baby Inc. and Six sensitivity companies and these narrative consultation companies have not been able to work their way into every single company or even every region. Um, like we haven't heard about a sweet baby ink working with Japanese developers specifically except for, uh, you know, Square Enix, but they are a company who, of course, over the years has definitely tried to focus more on Western audiences and modern audiences. They have shifted away from their home region, same with a company like Sony, but when, of course, something like this blows up on social media and gains a lot of attention, there are gonna be people who are upset. And this tweet went semi-viral for also, uh, you know, the wrong reasons. It's from Normal Guy. I'm all for sexuality in games. These doofuses just have such a pathetic, limited view of what a hot woman has to be. It's always gotta be model physique and F cups, nothing else. Uh, muscular girls, woke. Skinny girls, woke. Chubby girls girls woke. These men are weak. Level zero coomers. I have not seen anybody complain about skinny girls being woke. And when it comes to muscular girls, there are plenty of muscle mommy characters who people absolutely love. People just don't want to see Abbies. There are plenty of people out there who, who simply see a character like that and go, eh, I, I just don't 
think that this looks all that attractive. And of course, if that is the type of character you want to see, that's great. I mean, there are games with character customization, like Black Desert Online, for example, where you can customize your character and make them look the way you want. But the point of praising games like Vindictus, like Stellar Blade, like The First Descendant, is because so many Western developers have moved away from attraction, attract, fictional characters when that is still something that people want. Audiences today are the same audiences as 20 years ago and while yes there may be some people who are a little bit upset by you know a, a very attractive female character at the end of the day, most people do not want to see realism. You know, video games are a form of escapism. You are supposed to be able to see things that in some cases are grotesque and horrifying, and in other cases, beautiful and above average. And that's just the case for titles like these. And of course, normal guy here couldn't just let people have a discussion on his Twitter thread because he has hidden many, many, many responses. Uh, maybe people are just excited because sexualized women in games have been demonized to hell and back for the last decade at least. Maybe it's okay if a couple big games come along here and there that tell the moralizers and prudes to just go F themselves, and that isn't a bad comment. It's not like this comment was harassing or even criticizing, really, of normal guys' stance. It is simply a response saying, hey, why is it bad that games like this exist and it was hidden? You right now on, on film, on absolute blast. This fool's really out here mad at some dude's opinion on what a hot woman is. Absolutely weak. We just don't want this kind of shit. And hey, this validate game, if you like this, that's perfectly fine. I want there to be all different types of games for all different types of people. It is not personally a game I would play. I don't want a game where it's based on astrology signs and my pronouns and, you know, being something like a food scientist. Like, that's just not a dating game that I would want to play in any way, shape, or form. But it exists, and I'm sure that there are a couple people out there who bought it. But not every game needs to be like this. It's like, you know, with Stellar Blade and with these games that feature very sexualized female characters. Not every game has to be like that, but the problem is, is that those games basically vanished over the past few years, and that's why when we have these individual cases, uh, you know, being released, we want to praise them more and we want to talk about them more. I definitely am going to be keeping my eyes on a Vindictus Defying Fate. It's a game I had heard of before because I'm a big, big fan of MMOs and action RPGs specifically. And while it is in the uh, pre-alpha stage, we've still got a long way to go until it fully releases here in the West, but I will be keeping my eye on it. I'm pretty excited for it, and I definitely know a lot of you are excited for it after seeing this character's very stunning assets. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.